Right, so here's the second one then. So this is the Galanto, and they call it their Benjamin Button jacket. So as we can see, the style is very similar indeed to the other one. Obvious first differences are the pockets. These pockets are narrower than the other one. You can see, look, there's more room in those, can't you? And they're clearly visibly wider to the eye. They've both got the brass snaps on. Both of these jackets are armoured. And incidentally, the armour in this Galanto appears to be a lot better quality. So again, this is made of a cowhide leather, three quarter length. Once again, you can take out the armour if you wish and just wear it as a general leather jacket if you want to. Again, this has brass snaps, they appear to be okay, but they're clearly not you know, really, really good quality. Incidentally, I paid £170 for this. Well, I say I paid it, I mean, I think I'm gonna send it back to be honest with you, but 170 quid. So again, let's not delude ourselves. This is not a premium quality leather motorcycle jacket. I will reiterate, as I did with this one here, a top quality premium leather motorcycle jacket is going to cost you somewhere between 12 and 15 that'll probably be the most affordable you can get however it must be said that there is a company called gold top which produce some lovely quality jackets at a very affordable price you can pick up a very similar jacket like this for under 500 squids so um, i've got one on order at the moment and that would certainly be my suggestion for a reliable good quality leather motorcycle jacket now there are some differences so these pockets then appear to be narrower well they don't appear to be they are so they're narrower they don't there's not as much capacity in there as there would be in here definitely got more space in those and they're visibly bigger as well Now let's have a look at this buckle, shall we? So, like the other one, this buckle does appear to be a bit cheap. And these, here look, not sure how long they'll last. So yeah, it's uh, quality ain't brilliant. The collar is better padding than the other one so that's just got your plain leather this has got a bit of padding and do you know what it must be said that whilst they're both budget price jackets the leather on this one does I don't know it just feels to be slightly better quality although it is actually a cheaper jacket you'll also notice the epaulettes on here look You've got these um, bits on here, look, and also on the sleeves. And you've also got that sort of um, band on here, look, on the sleeves. So that has that snap on there rather than the zips. So on the shoulders on this one, look, you don't have any of this um, detail here. And you don't have it on the sleeve either so inside the jacket then so it feels all right just going to undo this so same as the other one you have a corded lining which can be removed you just unzip it which will enable you access for the armor now one of the differences straight away is the fact that this is quilted underneath this removable liner so i would think that would make it a little bit warmer so yeah i mean that looks all right so this is where the back protector goes and 
the other protectors go in these pockets here, look. So this liner then, it snaps into place using these and there is some elastic here on the armpit, look. You just thread it through there and it helps to keep it in place. So that's um, a useful additional feature, which this one doesn't have. So the lining basically, yes, you zip it in, but there's nothing to actually hold it in place at the armpit. So it does flap around a little bit, really. You'll also notice that there is a difference in terms of the internal pocket. You slide your mobile or whatever. The other one is open. This has a zip. You also have an additional little pocket on here look, with a Velcro. A bit of Velcro on there. It's quite hard to get into. But look, you could put, I don't know, something in there. I think for most modern mobiles it's probably a bit too narrow, but stick a, a Twix bar or a Snickers bar in there or something or other. Now, let's just turn it round. So as I say, the quality of this does feel better. What have we got on the back here? I'm just going to spin this one round as well, just to refresh our memories. Right, okay, so there are um, a couple of obvious differences. So on this one here, look, it doesn't have a tapered back. Okay, and we can see on this one here, look, the one from Warrior Gears, it tapers in. It, it's shaped better, isn't it? So this one here looks a little bit more ungainly, I suppose, really. It's not going to fit you as well, is it? We've already talked about the belt, the both crap. Um, you've got four panels on this, and you've got that little hem on the bottom there, look. So on here, you have a couple of these loops here, look. Same over here, on this one here. I'm not sure whether you could say one is as good as the other. I think we're sort of like nitpicking here, aren't we, with this sort of detail. Um, but I think I prefer the way these are secured look. You've got two fixing points that's sort of just hanging in the air. Perhaps it's a design feature, I don't know, but I prefer the other one. Um, yeah, not really that much more to talk about until we get to the armour. So, yeah, you've got a yeah, reasonable collar there. This one appears to be... It, hold its shape better, let's say that, shall we? So I've just noticed something else, actually, about these jackets. Now, we've talked about the belt on more than one occasion. So we know we've got two loops at the back on the reverse, but we've also got two at the front there, look. So it helps you to sight the belt better. Whereas on this one, we don't actually have any loops at the front. There's nothing there, which is rather bizarre. You know, it just, uh, I don't know, fits around your gut, I suppose. So there are definitely subtle differences there, aren't there? Let's have a look at the armour, because this is where we're going to see a big change. So this is the armour you get with the Galanto. And, you know, it's not as big. The piece is not as big, but you can just tell it's far more substantial. This is going to give you far more protection than the stuff from Warrior Gear. Now, check out this puppy. Look at this back protector. Now, that's what you call a back protector, isn't it? Whilst it's not going to offer you the highest possible protection, it's certainly going to offer you more protection than that other gash that comes with the Warrior Gears jacket. That feels far more substantial. I mean, that inspires a lot more confidence. That will protect you a hell of a lot better than that other bloody thing from Warrior Gears. Right folks, so conclusions then. So here we have two very similar looking jackets. The style is almost identical, but there are some distinct differences between the two. So we'll have a look at the pros and the cons 
for both of these. So we'll start with the Galanto first. So pros, on a positive side, the armour is a hell of a lot better than the Warrior Gears. The leather feels as if it's better quality. It feels smoother. It feels a bit more supple in terms of warmth. Then this also has a quilted lining underneath the quilted removable gilet. Visually, from a design point of view, I do like these um, features on the shoulders and also on the and also on the elbows look. I think they're nice little additional features. So moving on to the warrior gears. So there are some distinct advantages with this jacket. The first is the fact that it looks as if it's a better fitting jacket. It looks better tailored. And that can be attributed to the fact that it's shaped better at the back here. It's better tailored to fit your body, to fit your torso. So it's going to fit you better. The other thing is the fact that it has four belt loops on the belt, which will help to keep the thing sitting on you much better. I also prefer the bigger pockets and these really are nice and uh, capacious so you can definitely get more stuff in there. I also prefer the zips on the sleeves as opposed to these snaps. So the armour then isn't anywhere near as good as the one on the Galanto. The leather doesn't feel quite as nice as this one here. And as you can see, looking at it, um, th there's more of a sort of um, a grain effect on here. This is more of a smoother finish. They've both got a similar sheen on them. They both have pretty mediocre brass fittings. This one has um, a lining which is sort of a mesh as opposed to this one which is quilted. So look, this one's going to be warmer. This is going to be a little bit cooler. Neither of them have a zip which opens from the bottom. Which is a bit unfortunate really. As you can see, this one just, the shape of it just looks so much better, doesn't it? Now, I am actually going to put this one on, but it doesn't change my opinion. If I had to pick one of these jackets, without doubt, it would be that one there. I would upgrade the armour in it if I was going to use it on a motorcycle or a quad bike. And I'll send that one back. Now, I think these are both 4XL. I have a chest size of, yeah, they are. So my chest size then is 48. But, you know, when you look at the sizing, guys, that means absolutely nothing at all. I've tried 48s on, and basically, you know, it's like putting on a straight jacket. You can barely breathe in them. So, in terms of value for money, then, which represents the best value for money budget motorcycle jacket? It's got to be that one there, the Warrior Gears. Arm length is absolutely spot on. This belt doesn't fit as well. It sort of flops around really though. Um, and also you have more fixing points if you're slimmer. <laughs> so pockets are narrower. I mean look, this jacket's alright, but I think what I'd say is the fact that if you just want to buy a retro looking motorcycle jacket and you're a bigger guy um, if you've got more of a 
boxy sort of torso and you don't want to spend any more money once you've bought your jacket assuming you want a leather jacket and not a textile one then you might be better off going for this because it's more boxy in terms of the fit um, it does, does feel nice but it's not as uh, there isn't as much maneuverability in it okay turn around Thank you for watching.